All right, now we are learning something called earned value analysis. First of all, earned value analysis is just a standard way to measure a project's progress at any point in time. Uh, that progress can be in terms of the schedule, so is it ahead or behind schedule for the amount of work being done, or also we can figure out is it over budget or under budget. Uh, so let's imagine we have this activity here from a project, uh, and this activity is five days long, and we know that it's supposed to cost $400 per day. Well, say you're the project manager, and you get a field report back from your field manager uh, at the end of day three. So we'll say that this is the report date. And your field manager tells you that only 40% of the work has been completed, and it ended up costing $1,000. So you could write it like this. So this is the end of day three when you received the report. So you were expecting that three days worth of work would have been completed and it would have cost $1,200, but only two days of work have been completed or 40% you know, of the activity and it ended up costing $1,000 instead of, you know, this should have cost 800 and you were expecting to have more done and only pay 1200. So there's all sorts of things going on here. Uh, and from this we can draw three really important uh, definitions that we'll be using for the next series of videos and they are right here. So we have ACWP, this is the actual cost of work performed, BCWP which is the budgeted cost of work performed, and BCWS which is the budgeted cost of work scheduled. Uh, these three terms are super important, just memorize them and just drill them into your head because we will be using these a lot in the upcoming videos. Uh, so. But what do all of these mean? Well, ACWP, the actual cost of work performed, is literally is the actual cost of work performed. So the, the this was the work performed, 40% of the activity, and it cost $1,000. So the actual cost of work performed is $1,000. Okay, budgeted cost of work performed. Well, this is how much we were expecting the work performed to cost. So in this case, they performed 40% of the work, we were expecting that to be 400 plus 400. We were expecting that to cost $800. So the budgeted cost of work performed uh, is $800. This is also what we refer to as earned value. Okay, and then the last one, budgeted cost of work scheduled. Uh, well, at the end of day three, we were expecting to have 60% of the work done, right? One, two, three, three out of five. Um, and so we were expecting to have 60% done and we were expecting that to cost us $1,200 because 400 plus 400 plus 400 would be $1,200. So that was the budgeted cost of work scheduled. In this case, was $1,200. So like I said, we'll be using these three definitions lots in the next couple of videos and we will be able to use them to figure out if projects are ahead of schedule, behind schedule, over budget, or under budget. So I will see you in the next video and we will start learning how to do all that.